Welcome to the Mass for the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. All the music for today can be found in the worship aid in the link under the picture for today's Mass on our homepage www.churchofthejesu.org.
God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the one true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in the cloud, the Lord stood there with Moses and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus, the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to answer, and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people. Yet, pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.
is, who was, and who is to come. Jesus taught us 
and we are assisted in our prayer. We think of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. And we ask today that God's Holy Spirit, whom we believe is present in our midst, make us holy. That is, more like God. God who said, Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And when a scribe, a doctor of the law, tried to ask Jesus who was the neighbor, Jesus picked people of the nationality most hated by Judeans and said, well, a Samaritan did, did a good turn for someone who was left for dead by robbers. That Samaritan, among others, is your neighbor. And the Samaritan was a good neighbor to the Jewish man left for dead by robbers. When Jesus chose to tell that parable, he made it very clear exactly who our neighbor was. Even the people we might not know, we might not like, we might not have any experience of, because God loves all his creatures. And if we think about the name, whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God, that Son of God is Savior, Redeemer, Messiah, the Anointed, Son of David, greater than David. Christ who wishes to redeem all people who turn to him in belief. Happy Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. May God bless you. Let us now profess our faith using the Nicene Creed in your worship aid. I believe in one God, the Father of all mine, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. For us men and for our salvation, he came down to heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was only honored with the Virgin Mary, and became the King of Men. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Having heard the word of God, let us now call upon our Father who created us, the Son who redeemed us, and the Holy Spirit who renews us as we bring our prayers and needs before our merciful God. That the leaders of the church may be a sign of God's care and affirmation to all who seek to support and respect every human being as God's creatures, equal in the Lord's sight, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For world, national, and local leaders, whose responsibility is ensuring the welfare and safety of all people, we pray. Lord, 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 Lord pray. For our African American and Hispanic sisters and brothers, that they may find justice in our nation, and that hope-filled dialogue may be achieved together as we all work to respect the dignity of every human person. We pray. Lord, 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 Lord pray. For all those who are facing unemployment, hunger, homelessness, that our generosity in these difficult times may be a sign of God's loving care for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all scientists, researchers, healthcare workers, as they work to find treatments, cures, and a vaccine, and for all those who are ill, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our adjacent families, who after being prepared to receive sacraments, find themselves forced to wait for them to be rescheduled, especially our RCIA catechumens and candidates, those with children to be baptized, our first communicants, and our confirmation class, and those planning to marry, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially family members, friends, and loved ones, and fellow parishioners who have looked to God for mercy, especially those remembered in the intentions of all JC parishioners, and for Walter Edwards and Sheila Jaros, who died in the last week, and for the consolation of their families, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, have mercy on us and hear our prayers. Let the love which unites the persons of the Holy Trinity shape our lives and the lives of all people. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, who celebrates life with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to the glory of your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought before you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once again giving you thanks. He said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, Father, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier and St. Ignatius of Loyola, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice for reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind welcome to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace.
sister of Stanley Jarrows. Miss Jarrows' funeral mass was Friday here at Jason. We also have some announcements. The bishops of Ohio have left the dispensation from attending weekly mass in place for all Catholics. Especially if your health is vulnerable, we urge you to continue taking part in our online masses. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be God. God.